welcome to the computer network practical series today we'll be doing this session on telnet this is called as the terminal network this particular application layer protocol is used for a uh, remote login so we'll using the this topology which we have used in many previous practicals so this is a server having this ip address 10.0.0.2 and the we have uh, we have the router 10.0.0.1 and we have these three pcs okay so we'll see how we configure the router so that we can get a remote access from any of the pcs to the router and this is the topo uh, this is the we can see the ip addresses to the various interfaces and the hosts so this is the what we'll be using so let us configure it on cisco packet tracer now we use cisco packet tracer to do the configuration so first we select the router 1941 okay and uh, then we select the pcs three pcs then the switch and then the server okay and do the connections for connection we use this particular wire copper straight through so fast ethernet of this with any of this connect all the p all the pcs as well as the other components with the so we use in this case we use the gigabit ethernet 00 and here the fast ethernet with any of this interface now we configure the ip we just put the ip addresses on the interfaces first we start with the router so here in config we click on gigabit 00 and first turn it on then the ip address as we know that is 10.0.0.1 this will come automatically then we will start with the pc first so pc 0 put the ip address as 10.0.0.3 okay. two is of server and this 10.0.0.1 no no need to set the dns server in this case then the second pc is uh, 10.0.0.4 and this is the default gateway 10.0.0.1 mm -hmm. then the last pc it is 10.0.0.5 and then this is 10.0.0.1 now we need to configure the server so first we'll uh, configure the ip address so here we we'll configure the ip is 10.0.0.2 okay and then this is <coughs> 10.0.0.1 .0 the default gateway now we go into the router we go into the cli mode of the router and we'll see how we can configure the router for this uh, telnet so when we go into cli mode maybe we get this we will get this prompt please enter to get started so i'll just put i'll just enter it <coughs> now this is the prompt router so we need to enable we write the command enable and then enter then we type we, we get you can see the prompt has changed has changed now uh, i type the command configure terminal okay sorry <coughs> configure terminal now again the prompt has changed so first of all what we do is we 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 change the host name we give some host name to this router it is router so i'll just name write the host name as smile okay so you can see the host name has changed now next what we do we go for the configuration of uh, sorry we just go for the configuration of the telnet now uh, next command would have is line vty line vty okay space 0 space 4 okay now you can see the prompt has changed okay. next we uh, type the password password we keep it as cisco we can keep any password i'll just type cisco as the password okay to get the telnet access to get the access and then we enable <coughs> through the login so i'll just type login okay login okay 
and then enable the secret so type the command enable then secret cisco okay okay we are done now i'll just exit from here exit <coughs> so now this this are the steps which are required to enable the telnet service now we can go in any of this uh, any of this particular uh, pc i will just go in this particular pc okay and go in the command prompt and then type telnet and the ip address of the of the router that is 10.0.0.1 okay now you can see we are getting the access and it is asking for the password i will type the password because password is cisco c i s c o when we type the password it, it won't show anything here but it is taking that password when i enter as you can see i get the access into the smile router this the smile this prompt actually i was in prompt this one the c was of the of the pc and now i am in, into the uh, router okay so this is how we can get a remote access to the router so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching